Uh, yeah, the isolation, I think for us mostly it's, uh, it's nothing too dramatic from what, uh, it's not too drastically different from what we would usually be doing from day to day. You know, we, uh, we usually just do a bit of training there once or twice a day, head to the shops maybe once a week and sometimes twice. And, um, you know, I think it's, uh, it's kind of highlighted to us what a kind of a lonely existence we are uh, living when we're training full time as athletes there for the most part of the year. So it's not too dra dramatic, you know. We've got our we've got our rowing machines here in the house with us, and we've got some weightlifting equipment out the back, so we're able to do a bit of training each day, and then occupy our day just kind of resting or reading or watching TV or something. I think not too bad. I mean, we were just kind of getting on with our job there day to day. We were in a, a training centre down there just with uh, a couple of other athletes and stuff, and we were in Seville, so there was only literally only a handful of cases by the time we were still there. So not that many, but I think other areas of Spain were getting um, quite over, overwhelmed and you could see that cases were beginning to pick up in Ireland as well, but you, we, that was kind of expected to happen as well, really. And just as we were getting out of Spain, the government said that uh, they'd advise anyone coming back to self-isolate for two weeks. So we went away and did that. And just as that was ending, then they brought in Kind of the current restrictions so that just extended on a bit further up until now and probably will go on for for a bit into the future but like Gary saying we we don't mind that um we kind of do that thing anyway so uh it hasn't affected us too much mm. yeah i think do you want a good call because there would have been athletes everywhere probably including ourselves that had they still been on at the same date would have probably been taking more risks to try and go about their training and try and get the, the optimal preparation, which which wouldn't have been great. Um, but now I suppose we know the new date is there, so we'll just kind of refocus for that and get on with the training. Um, and I suppose do our try and do our bit for society and, and um, follow some guidelines. Negatives, I mean, there's not many negatives really for us either. Yeah, like we're saying, I don't like talking to people very much. Um, and Gary can do his talking on the phone. So it's hard to complain in our situation. Uh, no, I think, you know, we we still have another year to, to train. We can do more training now, another another good couple of months so we can get a bit fitter, hopefully get a bit stronger. Uh, you know, we're always learning, you know, each year, each year we we do go rowing and go racing and stuff. We we learn a lot and we come out of the year a lot better off with more knowledge going into the next. So we have a good year of training done and we've done some internal racing and so on. Uh, and hopefully now we can just kind of take head into next year with with more learning and more more knowledge and more understanding of our training program and and how to how to do the how to do the training to get to the best shape we can uh, next summer. We we still have another year to to train. We can do more training now. Another another good couple of months so we can get a bit fitter, hopefully get a bit stronger. Uh, you know, we're always learning, you know, each year, each year we, we do go rowing and go racing and stuff. We, we learn a lot and we come out of the year a lot better off with more knowledge going into the next. So we have a good year of training done and we've done some internal racing and so on. Uh, and hopefully now we can just kind of take head into next year with, with more learning and more, more knowledge and more understanding of our training program and, and how to, how to do the, how to do the training to get to the best shape we can uh, next summer. Uh, not a huge amount now. We don't do anything too drastically different. I mean, you know, like I said, the, the, the intensity, usually we'd be doing like maybe shorter, more intense training sessions because we'd be going racing. But because that isn't happening, we do a little bit less of that, um, more more volume and, and less intensity is kind of what we're doing. Um, yeah, trying to maybe, you know, do do some different, we're trying to maybe incorporate different training aspects. Like we usually wouldn't be going using running as a training tool, but we've decided, you know, it might be an idea to, just to get out of the house instead of arguing in the living room every day. We've, we've bought some runners there online and they got sent down to us. And I know where um, we've incorporated a little bit of running as part of the training. Um, you know, maybe do a bit of swimming coming into the summer if we can't get out on, on, the, on the river rowing because we live really close to the, we live really close to Roaring Water Bay there. So we can just skip on through the field and, and go up for a swim if we felt like it. Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to do maybe something different to get, keep keep the training there and skipping through fields and the like. Skipping through fields <laughs> and then head down to the water for a splash about and use that as a training tool. Um, yeah, so we're trying to you know we're, the, the the main bulk of our training is done on the rowing machine, which isn't too drastically different to what we would normally be doing. 
uh, given you know we spend most of our time in the winter on the rowing machine anyway because the weather is usually pretty bad in Ireland. Uh, I know it's just you know some 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 something different to to stimulate the mind and and maybe stimulate the body a bit more because we've got a bit more time and and the rowing isn't the the number one priority this summer because we won't be racing so much. 